For the largest portion of my career, I've been known mostly as a wildlife artist. Specifically, sea life and animals in underwater environments. It feels strange to me now when I look back on it because I never made a conscious decision to focus solely on fish and sea animals, although I've always loved the water. But I also draw and paint landscapes, and still lifes and nude figures, insects, zoo animals, cityscapes, and portraits. In fact, there are very few subjects I can think of that I might shy away from. Literally anything that draws my attention could end up on the paper or canvas. When I was first starting out, I was really interested in the American West, and I began painting historical type subjects. My brother was already established as a sculptor of Native American subject matter, and it gave me a good launching off place from which to get started. But when I began painting in the field, landscapes pretty quickly took over as my primary source of subject matter. Plain air work provided a great platform in which to study light and composition, and it taught me to work really fast as my view was always changing. Soon I was traveling all over the West and the Rocky Mountains in search of that next interesting location from which to work. Then a friend from Florida visited me over Christmas one year, and he gave me a gift of scuba diving lessons. I instantly fell in love with the sport, and I continued studying it until I became a dive master. I was spending so much time underwater that eventually this environment started finding its way into my artwork. This is really how it works for most artists. The places and the subjects where an artist spends the majority of their time is going to influence their art. Your environment and your personal interests govern the direction that your subjects will take. When I became a member of the Society of Animal Artists, I was deeply involved in painting these large underwater pieces. As a result, I became known for these subjects. But I've never lost interest in painting all of the others as well, and I constantly find myself drawn towards new subjects that I haven't even attempted yet. For this video, I'm revisiting my interest in historic Native American culture. I don't always have a reason for my choosing a particular subject. Occasionally, the activity of painting is more important than the finished piece, or even whether or not a successful result is achieved. Sometimes it's enough just to exercise that muscle between your brain and your brush and shut everything else off for a while. I've been making careful plans to produce some drawing and painting demos to share on YouTube for 2018, and I'm really looking forward to getting started on those. But for today, I'm just painting. This is Ronnie Williford. Stay safe and warm, and by all means, get your paper dirty.